What's up everybody? Welcome to a new YouTube video. Today's video I'm going to be showing you guys what I do to use the Redbubble Automator and how I actually reap some results from it. So I've gotten a few questions about the Redbubble Automator. I haven't made too many videos on it or really just talking about it too much. Um, but basically, as you guys know, it's a tool where the intended use is uh, for what they call reciprocal favoring or favoriting um, or favoring rather. Uh, it's basically where you, as the design shows, you create favorites or you give favorites to people and then they'll give you favorites back on your designs. And the whole purpose of getting favorites is that the Redbubble algorithm will serve, uh, you know, to the, to the viewer. Um, let's just type in the word goat here, will serve to the viewer um, the, other than the highest selling designs, but the most favorited designs or the most um, appealing designs to individuals. Uh, I personally use the favoriter and I noticed that boosting the number of favorites that your design has can potentially improve its success uh, from a algorithmic perspective on Red Bull. Remember that there are two different algorithms. There is the Google algorithm, right? That's typically, you know, it's the biggest search engine in the world. Typically, that's going to give you a lot of search traffic. And then you have the Redbubble algorithm, right? The Redbubble algorithm, there are things that you could do to manipulate the Redbubble algorithm. One of those things that you could do are changing the titling, changing the tagging, utilizing different aspects like that. If your design gets, let's say, a lot of sales, there's also a better chance that you'll show up higher on the ranking. If your design uh, has certain keywords, that will also help you on the ranking. If your ha if your design has a certain amount of favorites, uh, more than like the the competitors, that will also help you get higher on the ranking. So there's a lot of data behind this. There's also uh, conversion rates uh, do affect, and I have tested this personally, do affect your ranking in the search on specifically Redbubble. When somebody searches for a keyword, you want to be the design at the top, right? Now. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and talk about how I use the Redbubble Automator. Like I said, uh, I had a question about this yesterday, and I promised I would make the video today. And the question was, um, did it help you, like, you know, get higher ranked? And the answer is yes, but I don't use it the typical way that it's intended to. And that's the whole point of this video, is I'm going to be sharing you what I do uh, behind the scenes using this tool. Now, the tool, if you read the directions and, exp you know, what they say and things like that, they're specifically saying that the way to use the tool, where was it here? I think I read it a while ago. Um, let's see here. Uh, how to use the Redbubble tool. Number one, install the uh, search for a keyword to receive, or to receive a presentation of products. So a keyword like, for example, GOAT. Then when you have this view, you essentially start the tool. So you click on the tool. Uh, you configure your settings, and then you hit start, kind of like this, right? And depending on what numbers you set, it will start favoriting. You could see here on the bottom of my screen, it started to favorite, you know, a design, and then anywhere from the next two to six seconds, it will favorite another design. There you go, and so on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just stop it because I don't want to necessarily favorite these specifically uh, specific designs. So let's go ahead and, and take care of that now, uh, or let me go ahead and explain that rather. Uh, when I use this tool, like I said, I don't use it uh, for the intended purposes. I'll explain. If I'm going to, this is my mentality, guys. By the way, this is not what they say. Uh, I'm sharing with you guys what I do. I'm not sharing, you know, what you're supposed to do here because what they say is different than what I do, okay? So when I got the tool, I thought that was a great idea. Favorite other people's works on the uh, default view. But what I actually thought was a little bit different right? And I thought, who is most likely to give me likes back or favorites back? And it's probably not the people who are already showing up at the most relevant because those are probably a group of people who are maybe getting some decent sales. What about going to the newest designs and interacting with the newest designs instead? That was kind of my approach because if you think about it, people who post something recent, right? You want, they're going to be the most aware in a way, right? Like, for example, I'll give you guys my point here. Let's say I created this design a year ago, okay? And I get a bunch of people to like that design. That's not really going to catch my attention. I already know it's out there. I already know it's getting attention. But let's say I posted this design 10 minutes ago, 5 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to then 
Uh, and I, let's say I receive a bunch of likes, not just on this design, but other designs. You could see here the uh, creatist or the creator, the artist. He's the person who created all these designs right here. Well, I know that this person is frequently active. So what I'll do if I want to get their attention and get some likes back, I'll actually go to their profile on Redbubble. So I'll do this. I'll go to their profile. And I'll like a whole bunch of their designs. Let's say I'll go over here and pull up my tool. And what I'll do, let's just go ahead and pull up the tool here. And what I'll do is I'll set 15 likes to do, right? So I'll like 15 different designs. And what I'm doing is I'm giving, every time I like one of their designs, I'm basically saying, and it's starting up here, I'm basically saying, I want your attention, right? Because I'm liking more than one of that person's designs. So it's going to like all these designs and then it's going to move on. What I found that this works by getting, like, essentially, it's like what they say. It's that reciprocation kind of aspect. When you do something nice for people, they do it back to you nice sometimes, right? So in this case, uh, I'm, I'm liking significant amount of posts for one person that I don't know. That's one of the ways that I use this tool. There's another two ways that I use this tool, and I'll go ahead and share it here. So let me go ahead and stop this tool, first of all, because I don't want it to keep going here. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of share what I was trying to say is there's another two different ways. I'll kind of show you what I do. So the first way is I will have multiple accounts. You guys know I have multiple Red Bull stores. OK, let's just assume for the sake of it that this is my Red Bubble store. Let's just take Gracie Designs AU. And I've already, uh, you know, reviewed Gracie Designs. This was a person who was in my Red Bubble review video. But shout out to Gracie Designs. Right. Let's just say I own this store. And I have multiple stores. What I'm going to do is the whole point of the tool is to like people's work so that they can like your work back. Well, what if I just go and like my own works? How about that? Then I'm basically increasing my likes guaranteed. So I'm getting a guaranteed result from everything that I'm doing. And this is probably the thing that's going to get me the most results because I'm literally guaranteeing my own success, right? So what I'll do, let's just say this is my store, for example. I'll go to my store and I have two, let's say I have multiple stores. So like this is a store, this is a store. Let's say I have five stores. I'll do this on all five stores, right? I'll go to the store that I want to boost its likes. I'll go click start automator and it will start liking my own works, but I just have multiple accounts. So I'll be reaping those kind of results, right? So that's the second way that I do it. And that's the way that I guarantee I get the most likes, right? Because it's not up to chance at that point. When you go and you like other people's works, it's up to chance at that point. There's no guarantee that people are going to like your work back. But if you go and like your own work, that increases. Now, the reason why this tool is effective is if you have multiple stores like me. And this is something that I do all the time. And I mean, it is effective also if you have one store and you like other people's works. But I'm going for a guarantee here. A guarantee. So that's the second method, all right? And that's kind of free and clear and everybody understands that. Let me go ahead and shut it off again. And you guys kind of get that. Now I'm going to share the third way that I use this tool. And I do this uh, second most often. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about here. Is what I'll do is I'll click on a random product, like anything. So like, let's say home and living, I'll click on acrylic blocks, okay? Just random. And then what I'll do is I'll sort it, right? By the most, the newest once again. Now notice here, this is a different strategy than the first one. Because the first strategy, I used a specific keyword. In this case, I'm not using any keyword. I'm using a category, right? And with the category, I can like all of this new stuff. And what that will do is I'll hit a whole bunch of random people, right? In this case, this store, Miraculous Store, they posted a few designs here. That's a, a lot of designs. But still, you kind of get my point here. What I'm doing is that I'm hitting a whole bunch of different people. I'm going wide, right? And when you go wide in a marketplace, you're essentially sampling from every little area. Another thing that I do here is you could see here on Redbubble, there are different uh, things that pop up, like posters you might like, things like that. whole bunch of different ideas. You can select random people's accounts from this area, right? So you could. there's a lot of things you could do. You could go to the Explore page, right, and, and basically set it up and get things working. Um, but like I said, I don't use this tool 
as much as the intended purpose. Like what I like they never mentioned in the directions that you could do the things that I'm doing. But guess what? People do it, right? So what I'm trying to say here is is I don't know if we're lucky and and we just got lucky to be able to do things like this, but in the same notion, guys, um, you know, we're still getting results from it, right? Like when I set up my own account and I make likes on my own account, I'm getting results out of that, right? Instead of searching for a specific keyword and getting it results that way. Now, I'm not saying what they're saying is wrong, right? They're the ones who are the creators of the tool and, you know, we got to listen to them. But what I'm saying is I'm stepping outside of the box here. I'm thinking a little bit cleverly about, you know, what I could do something different, something outside of the box. So this was just a video on sharing kind of how I use this tool to, you you know, use it for different aspects to get different results out of it. And like I said, I just wanted this to be very clear. The people who don't know what this tool is or what the purpose is, the t- purpose of the tool is similar to, um, you know, like the like Instagram tool, right? Or any of the Instagram tools. You go and you interact with people to, in hopes to get engagement back. What I noticed is that why leave it up to hope when since I'm lucky enough to where I have multiple stores, I can like my own work, right? And all it takes is a few seconds to set up the tool as you saw and get it done. Now, the tool is a robust tool. There's a bunch of things that you could do with it because of Redbubble settings, right? Like Redbubble has a whole bunch of different categories. You can sort products from the best selling to the newest. You can even go to settings like this where you could click on like, for example, mounted prints and you can take a look at all the mounted prints uh, that are available. You could see here there's 530,000 results. Uh, So there's a lot of things you could do here, um, and it's really just up to you how you want to do it. Like I said, the intended way was to search for a certain keyword. They actually show it here. Search for a certain, where was it here? Um, How to use the Redbubble Automator, uh, how to use the Favorite Automator. I think, yeah, this is it. Search for a certain keyword, navigate to the Automator, configure results, hit the Start button. So basically, that was the intended way, but I kind of, you know, played around with it and got some results outside of that. So I figured I'd share that with you guys. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to grab the link, by the way, uh, to the tool, I'll leave my affiliate link in the description box down below. Anybody who clicks on it and actually buys, I get a small kickback of uh, 15%. So in this case, like a dollar and 50 cents. Um, but, you know, if you want to help out the channel, support the channel. Definitely click the the link below, but uh, either way, I'll leave the link in the description, and hopefully this video, guys, helped you out, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.